At Georgia Tech, we're helping create a healthier world by developing the next research advances in diabetes treatment, vaccine administration, and cell-based therapies. Through basic science, we're also finding new ways to fight cancer, gaining new knowledge about how the brain works, and understanding the molecular pathways that lead to glaucoma. This research is made possible by support from the National Science Foundation, National Institutes of Health, and other federal agencies, along with Children's Healthcare of Atlanta, the Marcus Foundation, other institutions, universities, and private industry. The National Science Foundation has awarded nearly $20 million to a consortium of universities led by Georgia Tech to support a new engineering research center that will work with industry and clinical partners to develop new ways of manufacturing living cells that have therapeutic properties. The Center for Cell Manufacturing Technologies could help revolutionize the treatment of cancer, heart disease, and other disorders by developing new engineering tools to enable life-saving therapies that use immune cells and other types of living cells. The center will also be key to developing the next generation of highly trained manufacturing workforce for the biotech and pharma industries. A Georgia Tech team is working on glaucoma, the second leading cause of blindness. One lab focuses on the protein myosilin, which causes glaucoma in children, and on ways to prevent the protein from going wrong. A grant from the National Institutes of Health is helping unlock more of myosilin's mysteries. A partnership between Georgia Tech and Emory University has led to the first successful clinical trial of microneedle patches for flu vaccination. The patches resemble a band-aid, with rows of needles too small to be seen. Pressed onto the skin, the needles dissolve, carrying vaccine with them into the body, potentially replacing the conventional hypodermic needle in syringe. The patches could one day boost flu immunization rates and allow people to vaccinate themselves. The study was funded by the National Institutes of Health. Georgia Tech researchers have demonstrated a new technology that could benefit patients with type 1 diabetes. Combining a new hydrogel with a protein that boosts blood vessel growth, the technique could improve the success rate for transplanting islet cells that would restore the body's ability to produce insulin. The research is supported by the Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation and the National Institutes of Health. Researchers have developed a novel targeted therapy to attack ovarian cancer. The nanohydrogel technique allows an interfering RNA to enter malignant cells, knocking down a protein gone awry that is involved in many forms of cancer. Breaking the legs of cancer cells with minuscule gold nanorods has the potential to offer clinicians going after individual tumors a weapon to combat the cancer's deadly spread. A process called metastasis, which is responsible for more than 90% of cancer deaths. The research is funded by the National Institutes of Health and the National Science Foundation. Researchers are applying systems analysis approaches and engineering tools to understand the human brain and develop methods for treating its ills. Researchers are also leveraging the brain's power to compensate for injuries to it and to the body. Through partnership and innovation, we're helping create health advances that will change lives throughout the world. We're creating the next. Thank you.